Welcome to the third part of my X4 series. I'm Daily Fix, and today we're going to be hopefully uh, starting to get in some additional funds for our future empire. So, in the comments, um, someone actually told me, like, why are you having a four star pilot as a manager? And it's true, we, we have uh, a very high. Uh, captain let's take a look where are you uh, over here three and a half star in piloting uh, we're having him work as a manager why are you doing this because well you could really make him more efficient by going into uh, a piloting job but I'm quite scared about putting him into a medium ship and then losing him because the AI will be AI. And eventually I do worry that he will get himself killed. So I would rather save him up uh, until we get like a large ship. And then have him on either trade or maybe even some Neverium mining. And Neverium mining for me, especially during my split run, let's actually on pause and I do want to go towards we drop down a stud like that oh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out we'll actually go over here because I want to start placing down some satellites in here there's a lot of work for us that we could do there is a Talladium foundry which will need silicon there is refined goods well they will need um, uh, just ore a uh, graphene will need I kind of I'm going to assume graphene. Uh, no, it's a combination, I believe, from some sort of a gas. Ooh, out of the top of my head, I should really not do that. Uh, anyway, so we are going over there. What we will do then is just make sure that we place down some satellites. Uh, by the time this one is done, uh, we have more more crew members. I could not find the word. And yeah, we'll definitely allocate them to this particular system yeah this particular system to have him do it the others aren't as good uh, I, I spent some time clicking and yeah there is some ore over here which is actually in a good quantity but yeah there's there's not really a refined goods thing or something that will make taladium so yeah going towards 18 billion i think is the most logical maybe the next step would be grand exchange but we'll uh, we'll actually take a look at that later. For now, let us go. Also, I completely changed my recording settings again. Uh, let me know what you think of the quality. Uh, as for my mic, this is still a very empty room. So it sounds very hollow. I do apologize for that. But that is stuff for later, not for now. First things, I want to give you at least a good quality video. Also, on the day of recording... Is also the day that Egosoft is going to be announcing the next DLC. I didn't think that was going to happen. I was looking back at some of the documentation I received from when I got like the Kingdom's End. And they actually did mention that Kingdom's End was going to be the final DLC. So I am pleasantly surprised, of course. I've also seen some very cool quality of life uh, options they will be adding. So we could say fly this ship... And we will be able to see uh, the weapons as well as uh, shields and hull. And those are the, the things that I do miss the most when I fly this particular view. And I do love flying in this particular view because you see so much more of the galaxy and you can see so much more around you. And in combat situations, I do think this is... Uh, the one that you want to be using uh, because there is so much overview uh, and I know that they want you to play the game in first person that's fine you know but at least we'll have a decision on doing a thing like that now uh, 13 seconds for our very first mineral miner we did use all of our money uh, I'm not going to be doing anything with the player headquarters at the moment. Uh, what I would like to do is uh, either going to Ventures 
or just just start mining and then shipping there is a huge quantity of ore here the problem that i have with this particular system is there's going to be the split next to this as well as the boron and you have the skill plate pack so there could be yeah, a bit of friction in the future but you know this is also a system that is not claimed by anyone and that also gives us a lot of possibilities there's another thing look at this plus a thousand percent on workforce availability bonus okay that is very very neat actually so yeah interested in that uh population is huge so there is going to be a planet anyway that, that's stuff for for later we have this mineral mine let's take a quick look at the personnel that we would get who would be good as a kitten yeah of course you are great as a captain and these guys are working as a service crew member. Look at the morale. It's so high. Piloting, not so much. Uh, we need a one star for, to do what we want to be doing. Now, we cannot do that, unfortunately, until we place down some satellites in 18 billion. Uh, because he does need to know where to start uh, selling the, the goods. And we need to know which one we want to go with. Silicon or or whatever so we need satellites over here that is what i will be doing uh in in a second while we also wait for the second ship to be done and we can actually get some money going excited about that so yeah i'll uh, i'll see you in a second guys okay so we are nearing the final place where i want to place down a satellite right now let's turn off trade um so far the only factory in this particular system is the Taladium foundry accepting ore so i put one of my miners to come over here and start auto mining for this station we'll start slowly selling and we'll drop another satellite over here and there's also a data vault which i you know quite love uh, let's drop down satellite uh would you need some silicon uh, come on, refinery, silicon. Uh, he does need it. Uh, not as much. Um, he might be having some issues selling. And I think that is actually the case. Look at that. He is selling huge quantity of silicon wafers at the price of 212 credits. Uh, can we sell them? Silicon wafer price 305. Not bad. Yeah, actually that would be a very very healthy trade run now and also will help you by helping this station get rid of his silicon wafers and sell it basically everywhere so i have a huge job ahead of me uh, in order to actually assist so i want to go silicon silicon wafers and we will most likely use the ship allocated to this station because he is just basically not doing anything it's not profitable uh, profitable just now to have the sunrise facility do anything that will be something for the future but look at those prices man sold at 310 over there while we sell it here for 212 so if we can buy up to say 240 we would be able to sell as low as 260 that, that's a minimum of 20 credits and i think that is a very very healthy amount so yeah that is definitely something that we'll be setting up that means that we'll have a lot of flying to do a lot of satellite placement we need to find all of these silicon uh, refineries and assist that but first things first let's set this as our next target let's go over there let us remove all orders and assignment for you disable trade and let us set up a repeat order so the repeat order system let's confirm we've seen this before but i do like to talk about it is you will select repeat Autopilot. right click Disengaged. this system say buy by silicon wafers over there with the minimum price that we talked about was 240 i believe 
So we'll buy up to 240. Confirm that. And we'll also place an order, sell in here. Now it, it will only show up if there is a factory indeed asking for these silicon wafers. And there is. And we'll sell that to the price of 260, which is still below half of the price. So, but I don't want the ship to go too long a journey. I know we could maximize profit over here, but this is also about uh, creating uh, a place or actually creating or generating a relationship. Uh, of course, we could go towards these factories, scan for data leaks, and we might po possibly gain ourselves a discount, which can also be actually interesting. Now, we need to decide with whom do we want to trade. So, where do we have satellites placed? I think that would be the most logical one. Let's put on trade. Let's turn off silicon. Okay, where do we have silicon wafers? and a satellite because we want to have up-to-date information there's no satellite over there bloody shame no over here but oh look at that price uh, they will buy 539 for a very very healthy amount if i do say so myself is there anywhere that we have that there's also a they would sell oh look at that they're selling it's so expensive Oh, this is a good market to be in. Um, I usually just call these as tier one. Tier zero is going to be uh, the places that just process normal ores or gases. And the tier one is just the very first step in that. Uh, so, yeah. Very easy way. Uh, also, if you have satellites everywhere or you want to check if there is indeed a system that would... Um, allow you to sell click add locations right click the sector if it doesn't behave it doesn't do anything they don't want it if they right click here and say select and there is a base in this system that needs uh, to get uh, silicon wafers and we'll just keep doing that and now we know hey there is a base in here we need to visit that system and place a satellite so we can keep up to date prices turn off trade so it's easier to see so add locations right click select there is one over there add locations right click select there's one over there as well let's not go into the argon federation systems just yet also there is i believe a jump gate in this system that will link towards either these Split the free families or something or the Xenon. So I kind of don't want to go there just yet. This one we haven't uh, gone to. I There's no not a factory that we would need. Uh, you. Yeah, there is one over here. And it's not even the solar power plant. So we can go there as well. Uh, I would like to make... I would like to find, I should say, all of these factories. And it actually would benefit you a lot if you make it into a very good looking trade route not what i've been doing just you know clicking and showing you from hey, even though we haven't found all of the bases you can do the same thing with buying you can just easily click a system and say hey are there silicon wafers here yes there are so it, it works the same thing even if you did not uh, found find any systems any stations in this system it knows there is a factory that will sell it to you it feels a bit cheaty but hey it works so why not use it anyways let me just do the data vault and we'll uh get some money and goods and i still haven't heard anything about uh, if we want to do a delegated uh, episode for the, uh, the history, uh, which I think is extremely interesting. So let me know if you want That's to be cool. doing oh, all of the storylines from the Encyclopedia in like one video, or if we just listen to the history 
when I discover it. So, yeah, meet you when I actually finish this one. Okay, it seems finished. Now, before we'll um, go to that data leak, uh, I want to take a look at... Oh, God, here we go. Uh, come on, boost into that. There we go. Uh, I want to take a look at which one we would actually be assigned to. And we also got 205,000 credits. Very, very healthy amount. Uh, it's not really a ship yet, but we're getting close to it. So, yeah, okay, we know that won't go away. Go, uh, it should actually show up as a new one. At least I hope. There we go. Timeline entry already unlocked. So we didn't unlock a new one, which is a damn shame. We've already gotten that one previously. And of course, Bostata is going to be talking to us again. Vanguard. Yeah, okay, let's dock up. Now, I also had a very good suggestion about visiting combat sites and going after some of the loot. And I think I actually do want to do that while I also do some missions. Because this game is not about just, you know, scouting space. There is so, so much more to be done. Uh, nav beacon, we know what to do. We go uh, done. Uh, I've actually still need to do one, which is... Damn, I have this mouse of mine is always just scrolling the wrong way. Uh, this nav beacon we still need to do. So we may, might even just start over there. Uh, so we have that undone. We also get some more money, which would be great. But do we have the other ship ready now? Um, yes, it does. It's actually over here. You are unable to sell. That's interesting. Or 18 billion... Yeah, you're still buying, so... Awkward. Oh, I'm on auto trade. Yeah, that, that's not what you want to do. Local auto mine. Or 18 billion. Yeah, that, that's definitely all me. So the other one is going over here. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We will select local auto mine. Turn off trade for a second. Silicon. And also 18 billion. So one is doing ore, one is doing silicon. I don't want to go too much with silicon on this system. Because I'd rather have my ships being busy than them waiting for an opportunity to sell. If that makes any, any sense to you. So what we'll be doing right now is making sure that our, uh, our venture... So our trade ship is going to be busy. I will redo this at some point. Most likely will actually... I'm thinking about making my very first dedicated tutorial video. And that would be the very first one that I've done. So that would be, you know, interesting for me to do. Uh, and I'll go and travel over towards this data vault. And dropping down some satellites at places where they actually need the silicon wafers uh to make this less annoying because it's quite high you can go to filters and you could actually just say look uh, i want the minimum offers displayed on one making it so much easier because you don't need the additional information you could also go with i want high large or small uh, say, uh, medium large or small uh, volumes and that's more for when you're going into actual trade routes. That would be a, an ideal way of doing stuff. Anyways, uh, let's just head over the next system. Yeah, we got that satellite done. Yeah, let's head over here. They are buying with the small sh uh, chip factory. I do think I do want to pick up a few more satellites because I got, uh, I think like, Seven remaining, you know, that would be enough. We can always pick them up later. So let's set over Destination over there and we'll head over there and we'll head over to the data vault. So yeah Okay, so we actually got to the station and there was actually there's two missions over here some repair works easy very easy Money there's also uh, hired help. Let's take a quick look 
what it is that you want uh just data leaks repairs and satellite repairs it's it's uh it's it's not bad not bad at all I destroy any xenon ship there is no time um which you are required to do this particular mission i do believe that you have to be flying in this particular system uh, matching target in the following location at Tikva's choice one so that is uh definitely not the case then i think for so you need to be killing a xenon over here now i can tell you that is actually that eventually will happen so let us accept all of these missions because why not uh, i'll drop down a satellite over here we'll start doing some of these uh civilian satellite and we need to get closer you know don't don't just drop out where are those leaks Actually, they should tell you where it is. Wait a minute, where is the other satellite? Is that close? Satellite. Yeah, it's really close. Okay, we'll do that one first. Let's go. Engage. We'll travel back. We now have the satellite. Our ship uh, can now actually go over here and dare to sell uh, waivers. So let's go to our venture. He is currently bought and he is now on its way here to sell the goods, which is good. So next step would be memory of profit. Open up sell. 18 billion. Okay, we'll just remove everything but memory of profit until we get more places where he is able to sell it. Okay, let's get up and let's get into space. Destrel, Vanguard. Satellite. That's not very nearby. Usually I fly, I'll try to fly a bit closer. But yeah, it's fine. I think you have a range of like 30. Oh no. Oh, there we go. 25. That's one. Let's, uh, we'll go to the other one. Vanguard. Docking granted. Oh, look at that. We made uh, definitely like 20,000 on that deal. You can, of course, argue with me. That, you know, it's a waste to have him sell this nearby. But I also need the relation. Because we need to get, hopefully, <laughs> to about 20 Engaged. relationships with the Taladi. Because I love, absolutely love, the, um, the trade license it saves you on so many satellites even though it's you know it, it's more efficient if you place the satellites if the taladi expands or a base gets destroyed and they will rebuild it somewhere else yeah you'll have to go there place a new satellite or remove the other one if you are like me like quite tidy what is going on with him what are you doing satellite Oof, that was a bit too fast. Like, I can't wait to actually use this view more. And I would use it like this. I would go a bit farther away. Go over here. Because it is still... Look at that. It's still a fantastic game to play it like this. So I'm very, very happy they are going to be bringing that in version 7, I believe. Do let me know what you hope that is going to be uh, in the game. Of course, that makes zero sense because by the time this video gets done, uh, we all know what they uh, have planned for the next DLC. There we go. We get a, two plus, a plus two relationship with the Taladi. Add some more money. Next mission would be the repairs. Uh, let's make sure that that mission is on. Let's 
set active and it is actually here at the edge. You know, these missions also help you find other stations. Uh, you don't need silicon wafers. What I do need to do is actually do a scan. That's the wrong one. And see if there are more stations around. Also, for those of you who do not know about disco mode, just hit all the four. Uh, oh my, my button is just messing with me. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. There we go. There you go. It's a specific order, but you'll have disco mode in your station if you want to. Uh, I don't particularly want to. Uh, no other stations in the direct vicinity. Let's head over towards the next mission. We'll uh, repair some of those uh, leaks. Uh, as you can see over here, they are currently only buying silicon waves at a price of 250. Which, by the looks of it, you saw the venture hopping over here. And he was checking the price. As you can see, like, he is going to go... Memory of profit still. He is actually heading over here. Interesting. No, that's not true. Here we go. Uh, buying for 260... Oh, yeah. Because the amount we deliver is already taken into consideration. They know our ship is heading over here. They know how much uh, he will bring and they distract that from whatever it is they need uh look at this 241 due to trade because now he's completely filled up and we can actually make a very good amount of money as you can see over here we bought for 70,000, and we're going to be selling uh, at a one, uh, that, that, that's a 50,000 credits increase. That is very, very healthy. <laughs> I do like that, if I do say so myself. So here we are. What kind of a factory is this? Turret, Turret component. Factory. Interesting. Uh, press R. There is also medical supplies. And there oh, is a kestrel. I don't want my ships to go this close to the border because that's always like these skill plate marauders and they can be a bit annoying so yeah let's not do that okay we need to repair uh free data leaks uh be careful not to get too close to them because yeah you can actually decipher them and that is not something you need to do vanguard like I'll show one and then the rest. Well, it's not the most difficult mission. I'm aware of that. But, you know, I do want to show something more than me. Just jumping all over the galaxy. Now, keep in mind that you need to be... Just, your lock needs to be perfect. So, it seems like the distortion really is over there. So, be careful with that. Like I said, you don't want to get too close. There we go, that's one. Sometimes it just doesn't target correctly. Uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Oh, that is good, good money there. 335, we're getting close to our third ship. And there is a hop gas miner over here. Interesting. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll meet you when I'm done. Okay, so this is going to be the last one of this mission. I was a bit of an idiot, uh, which I usually am. Uh, I decided to go fly up to the very first one, or uh, the second one. Uh, yeah, man, that took me forever. Absolutely forever. So the next goal after this particular one is... We can't do the medium mission um, because, well, we just aren't ready for that. We are not going to be flying any... Or any Fighting in this particular ship. Uh, it's not a good fight. Also, we don't really have the weapons uh, to do so. Can we just select this one, please? Come on. 
There we go. Plus one. We're now plus eight. And we actually have more than half a million in the bank as of Best now. So I'm extremely happy about the decision to get two mining ships and a freighter to support that. Now, what we could do if we notice that prices are just no, not ideal is assign the ore trader to also start mining silicon. So our trade ship has... Um, you know, it's more likely that our trade ship will not run out of goods. And I'm thinking that is actually the way that we uh, want to do things. So let's head over. Uh, do we care for... No, that's not an interesting station at all. Uh, I want to start heading over here. So we start discovering this location. Let's check out our ore miner. Which one is it? You have the silicon wafers. Yeah, that's perfect. You. You're mining currently and you are mining ore. So we're going to be, you know, stopping him from doing so. We are going to be telling him to, you know, start. Oh, look at 220. It is actually increasing. Do you still need silicon, by the way? Uh, let's increase trade offers. At that yeah look at that so it actually is going down the amount of that necessary so let's not change it until this demand goes to high it's now on medium i want it to be on high before i allocate another mining ship to it i think that's just a mistake uh they're buying at 2756 so it is almost going to be buying again yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on the price. I do want to find more bases, but this ship... Man, this ship is doing absolutely phenomenal. He's not selling complete. That's fine. Uh, right now, we would be having 600,000. So, it's in more than enough to buy another ship. It is also enough to buy a blueprint. And that is actually very interesting. That is something that I kind of want to do. And then start a very, very small base uh, and we're talking about a uh, a solid storage and a docking that's it that, that's the base that we want to do and from there we'll have ships that are going to be mining and hopefully if we have enough money we'll have a ship that will Entering be dedicated to trading or But yeah, not right now. So I'll meet you with the next base. I'm actually going to be allocating this particular system, Memory of Profit, uh, 10 to the list. So he knows, hey, I can sell over there. And if I find uh, something that actually sells... So oh, look at that. Oh, wow. 400 with a huge demand Autopilot huge demand holy crap let us save let's say okay we'll go for 280 it's not 40 credits he is going to be man i'm loving this okay where are we still going okay are we stopping yeah we should be yeah we're near enough let's drop down the satellite yeah, there is money in this system. Oh, the man, the Taladi in me is absolutely going up. What's this? Clearing the way. Uh, what do you want? Destroying mines. Extremely easy mission. We'll most likely do it at some point. Let's engage the other pilot again. Until we see the station. If it's interesting, uh, we'll drop a satellite. If not, then we'll uh, not even go there. We'll just immediately go down here. Because I feel... I think there is more... Stations that need... Oh, look at that. Four... Oh, wow. Oh, this is so damn good. Yeah, there, there is a lot of cash in here. This is insane. I could have placed the satellite in there being more efficient. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, drop the other pilot. Civilian satellite. Uh, let's check out this system. 
real quick. Uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll meet you with the data vault and that will most likely be the end of the episode. Uh, I know not a lot of things have happened. Well, I say that, it's not really true. We started a trade route. We started, uh, what I say, the foundation for us as a enterprise, as a Taladi, uh, you know, the, un the, the unworthy entrepreneur to actually show to our, our kin that we are worthy. Of being called a Taladi. We are greedy. And we will be greedy. Very, very greedy. So we'll, hopefully we'll make a absolutely gigantic amount of cash. This is not a very interesting oh, station for us. Let's, so let's head over to the next one. Engaged. Yeah. Alright. See you in a sec. Okay. So the rest of the system wasn't so interesting. We're actually heading towards the nav beacon. But I want to show you this. We're currently at 700,000 and the estimated profit that we'll make from this trade is 300, almost 30,000 credits, uh, giving us a million. So we're scaling up quite nicely. And if you go into your tab over here, not this one, it's it's over here. Uh, then you can see like, okay, we did buy uh, the ships here for uh, almost a million. But with that trade, we almost made a million. They're 340. Here you go. We made a million in the course of this particular hour. Yes, that's also included, of course, with the data vault. Um, well, it's fine, you know. It is fine. I am terribly sorry to disrupt your magnificent focus. Yeah, you're kind of ruining my, my, my end here, Bosa. Hello there. An irksome ship has completed... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're not doing that. The irksome ship oh. is scanning. Those are the Terrans. They have an opinion about that station. Uh, let's just quickly... Where's the bloody thing? Wait, where the hell are we? That's... Oh, it's this one. Okay, that's fine. We're near enough. Let's uh, quickly do this data vault. It's one of the easiest one. I think it's just five points. And hopefully we'll get some more money. So next time, I absolutely think that next time, we are going to start by building our very small base then assigning our two mining ships to that base and then selling uh, silicon to the stations that need it. Uh, and I'm thinking three ships will be enough for now. So yeah, interesting, interesting uh, thing for next episode. Definitely going more into the enterprise stuff. Uh, and at some point, yeah, the player headquarters is going to be important. I really don't like the uh, the placement of it, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, can't really change anything about it. Uh, this one is new. Let's take a look. I need to look for a red glow. It could actually be at the end of this. And if you are unsure on uh, where things are, and actually we've just found one over there. What you can do is just click the data vault, go into, let me just look off, go into this particular view. And you can just hover around. And we see there's one over here. It's one. We yeah, didn't do, it's red. Uh, there's one down here, two, three. That one we did do. Yeah, I think that would be it. There's most likely one or two. Could the one there could also be one at the bottom? No. So yeah, we now know where to go. Let's go back into first person. Quickly do this. I might as well just uh, keep you with me for this one, considering we're actually <laughs> fifty-eight minutes into this particular recording, and I, I'm just curious how much I will end up keeping in the video. Uh, I don't think it's going to be overwhelmingly much. Uh, so my question to you is, do you think I cut too much? If that is yes, then do let me know. If that is no, you're right on the right track, you know, it's pleasantly to watch. Then I am extremely happy by, by that because I actually think I never bothered with the editing part of this particular hobby. So, actually going into that right now, 
uh, is actually very interesting for me because it actually shows some more uh, growth for me as a channel. I think I actually missed one. Okay, so now here is... Yeah, there's the goodies. Not the data side yet, so I need to find one more. There we go, we got 280,000. I'm bouncing all over the place right now, but we are having... Well, almost a million. Which is uh, extremely nice. Extremely nice. Didn't think we would actually reach it this far. Like I said, I don't want to be... Pressuring myself into... Doing too much off-camera work. Actually, there's another one open here. Maybe that is the one that has the data leak. It sounds like it actually has. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. There it is. It's the first time that I've actually seen it at a lower position. So, yeah, that's that's nice. It, it had me fooled. Way to go, game. I usually don't even check the uh, the bottom ones. Uh, we have a new entry. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, let me know in the comment section down below what it is that you would want me to do. Uh, do you want to dedicate a video once we have all the data vaults and then go over all of the time time entries uh, in the encyclopedia or do we just do well uh, every time that we find a new one we'll listen to it and do you think I cut out too much that would be the second question I hope you enjoyed and I'll, uh, I'll hope to see you next time don't forget to do the uh, usual uh, YouTube stuff because it actually helped look at the first video we got like 25 likes and we have over 800 views I really Really appreciate it. Uh, please keep it up because it really helps my motivation a lot. Seriously, you don't know how much it does uh, with the channel if you interact on it. So yeah, have fun. See you later. Bye-bye.